Hey guys, so you may have seen the latte makeup trend doing the rounds and now people are doing a slightly deeper and darker version also known as the triple shot espresso look. So I thought I'd show you my version of this dark brown smoky eye. On my face I'm going to start off with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer and I'm going to apply that with the LH Cosmetics The Other Sponge. This is a plant-based 100% biodegradable sponge. On my skin I've got my Dr. Jar SPF Premium Beauty Balm on so I don't need a ton of this foundation because I already have something with a little bit of coverage to it. I love this foundation. If you've seen my previous videos on it you'll know I voted it as one of my ultimate favourite affordable foundations. For me, it is like an affordable dupe of the Armani Luminous Silk. It gives a really similar finish. It has a similar consistency. It's not quite as liquid, but when it goes on, it feels similar. I feel like this just gives a little bit more coverage, but only slightly. So for me, it really is a winner for the price point. I've chosen some of my favorite nude sticks colors that would be ideal for the latte or espresso makeup look. Boho is the first color. This is actually a lip pencil, but I really love it as an eyeshadow color. The next shade we have is Taupe, which is great if you want to go for the cool tone. The shade I'm swatching now is called Hot Stone. Then we have the colour Slate, which again, great if you're going for that cool tone, grungy vibe. And lastly, we have the shade G Baby, which is slightly warmer, has a bit more of a red undertone to it. Today I'm going with the first shade and the last shade. Along my waterline, I decided to go with black to make it really quite intense. I'm going to use this eyeliner by House Labs, but you could use brown, you don't have to use black. I wanted it to be really smoky from the very inside, working out to slightly lighter brown. The first shade I'm going to use, as I said, is a lip colour. Uh, this is Boho. This is going to be the colour that we take the highest, it's going to be our transitional shade. Therefore, you don't have to take it close to the lid if you're not comfortable, you can keep it in the socket upwards. But I'm going to layer this for longevity, so I'm going to start at the lash line and go upwards. I'm blending that out, as you can see, like butter, with my BK Beauty 206 brush. I love these brushes because the bristles are made so that you can use them with creams and liquids. They're synthetic based, so they are fantastic all round brushes. I have a discount code for both Nude Sticks and BK Beauty brushes. Shona Scott will get you 10% off of Nude Sticks site wide and Shona 10 will get you 10% off BK Beauty brushes. I will link both those discount codes in the description bar for you. What I will say about these colours is that they are looking slightly warmer on screen than they do in real life. If I can add a picture in that I took on my phone I will do. Once you've applied that along your top lid, you then want to take it underneath your lower eyelashes. Again, this is going to be the colour that we blend the lowest, so don't be afraid to really buff this out. And if you take it too low, don't panic, you can always go over it with a concealer to take it slightly higher again. So like we always do, we have connected this with the outer corner of the top lid so it completely frames the eye. So as I said, this is a triple shot espresso look. So this is our first colour. The second colour we're going in, or the second shot, is G Baby. This is going to amp it up slightly, making it a lot more smoky. So we're going to start at the eyelash line and we're going to colour in the skin up towards where the eye naturally creases. We're not going to take it as high as the socket because instead we're going to use our brush to blend it up towards the socket so that it blends into the transition shade that we've already applied. So work in very fine layers. If you need to build this up further or take it higher, you can do that as you go. Better to do less to begin with because it's going to be harder to take away than it will be to build up on it and add to it. So just use your brush in light sweeping motions until you don't have any more seams. So now I've blended it out, I'm going to apply another light layer. I decided when I looked straight up into the mirror, I wanted to take this a little bit higher. So I'm reapplying that colour, taking it a little bit higher this time. Take note of my blending process here. I'm working at the seams by putting the colour downwards onto the lid rather than up and out. That way we don't take this too high. And because it is a cream, it blends into itself beautifully. With my eye shape, I quite like to pull the colour outwards a little bit, but you can keep it rounded. Do whatever works for you. This is a great look for those of you with hooded eyes. Because this goes over the entire lid, it doesn't matter if you have a fold or a crease. And again, you can keep it rounded if a elongated shape doesn't work for your eye shape. If you have quite a small lid space between your eyelash line and your eyebrow, you don't have to take it too high either. You can also just work with one shade or two shades, you don't have to work with two or three. 
Now we've finished with the top, we're going to take this underneath our lower eyelash line slightly closer to the root of the eyelashes, therefore we can blend it down into that transition shade we've already applied. And like before, make sure you connect this with the outer corner of your top lid. Okay, so the third shot of our coffee is black. This is also by Nude Sticks, and I've sharpened this so that I can use the point just to really keep this super close to the root of the eyelashes. We don't need to blend it out too much. We're gonna use a black eyeshadow over this for a softer finish, but we just want this really close to the root of the eyelashes to give us that really intense smoke at the root before we apply our mascara and falsies. Here you can see the difference between the two. You can decide if you like the black or if you wanna keep it just as brown. I'm going over that with our matte black eyeshadow. This one is by Natasha Denona. It's one of my favorites for real intense black. That being said, we are only taking a very light amount of this, tapping it over the black liner and then blending that into the brown that we've already got on the lid. You could just go straight in with a black powder shadow. That would give it a softer finish. But for longevity, I like to apply a pencil first. So this is what's created our espresso finish. We've got that triple shot going on with the lighter brown, the dark brown, and then our black. I'm applying a coat of mascara. This one is the Lancome Lashidol Mascara. Now you could wear this with mascara alone. I actually really like it with just mascara, but I also really like it with falsies. So you've got the option of both. This works great on all colored eyes, but I particularly love it on brown eyes. Now these falsies are quite long, but they are very lightweight. There's no heavy band with these. These are the Kiss Sister Nature Lashes in the style Dawn. These don't come with any glue, so I've used a standalone duo glue. And I'm just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers to pop these on. They are quite long. They're a bit longer than I thought that they were gonna be, so I like to pull them downwards so they don't sit too high, but they're more wispy than they are full, which I really, really like. If you find that most eyelashes are quite uncomfortable, I can recommend these. They're a very comfortable set. Because we have a lot of warmth on the eyes, I'm gonna take the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush in the shade Hot Totty. This gives you that warm color that you get from the sun. You know when your skin goes a little bit on the red side? I really like this, it almost looks supernatural. Here it looks as if I've taken my foundation off around my hairline and underneath is sun -kissed. You know when you're on holiday and foundation takes away your tan and you think, oh, it doesn't look as good. I look better with that pinky sun finish to the skin. This is what that gives you. That's what we want with this particular eye makeup because we have that same kind of warmth going on in the socket. I'm using a duo fiber brush to apply this. I like the way it goes on. I like that it doesn't apply too much product in one area and it blends it out beautifully. This one is by Clinique. It might actually be a foundation brush. I will link it in the description bar for you along with all the other products that I've used. I want to add a little bit of light to the center of the face. So I'm taking my faux filter concealer by Huda Beauty in the shade Coconut Flakes. I'm applying this on the top of the cheekbones and a little bit on the inner corner of the eyes and a tiny bit on my smile lines. On the outer corner, I'm lifting this area by going up and outwards. It's adding a brightening effect to the top of my cheekbone. I'm lifting the small line area, which tends to look a little bit darker from shadow. So adding a highlight here will help brighten that. And then because the eyes are quite dark with all those shadows, I want to add some brightness on the inner corner and just slightly underneath. So use a synthetic brush. This one is also by BK Beauty. I will link it in the description bar. Don't forget to use the discount code if you wanna try them. And I'm using a patting motion. I'm swiping the color down and then patting it in with the belly of the brush. Here's where you can use what's left on your bristles to eradicate any of the eyeshadow that you feel you might have taken too low. Obviously, if you're happy with it, don't take it as high as the eyeshadow, just take it up to where it meets the eyeshadow. But if you feel like you've taken it too low, here's your chance to kind of buff it upwards and it will soften the appearance of your eyeshadow. For me, I'm just taking it up to meet the eyeshadow. I'm quite happy with where it's sitting. Taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder, which is a finishing powder, I'm gonna press that through the center of the face to eradicate a little bit of shine, but also to give a smoothing and blurring finish to the skin. I'm pressing that on with a powder puff and I will link all these in the description bar for you. Before I decide on what blush I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go with my lipstick first because I feel like once I've got those on, I can decide if I need blush and how much to apply. I've chosen Max Whirl Lipstick because I feel like this matches my top that I'm wearing and it goes nicely with the colors that we've got going on in the socket of the eye. For blush, I'm gonna use my Nude Sticks Sunkissed Nudies Matte Blush. This is an all over face color. And again, it works really well with the tones that we've got going on on the face already. 
Just to make sure that we don't over apply our blush, it's best to put it on the back of your hand first and tap your brush into it so that you only pick up a small amount of product. Therefore, you don't overwhelm your face and then you get to decide how much you wanna build on that. I really love this. It's a lot of color on the face, but it's the right amount. It's not overwhelming, it's not too much. I feel like it's just enough for a night out. And it's the right amount for this look. Not every look requires this amount of colour. But with all these tones, I feel like it's really harmonious. And that completes my version of the Latte Trend or more Espresso Triple Shot Makeup look. All the products I've used will be listed and linked in the description bar. Come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram at showmemakeup. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. It's free to do so. I usually upload Thursday, Sunday, a short on a Monday and an educational quiz on my community tab on a Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye guys!